Hello, fifth graders. This is chapter three, lesson three of the Ecosystem Restoration Unit. During this lesson, we will be skipping activity two, so let's go ahead and get started. As ecologists working for Natural Resources Rescue, we're investigating why the soil matter can be different in different places. Figuring out the answer to this question might help us understand how the soil in the project area is different from the soil in the healthy area of the Costa Rican rainforest. We need to know more information about soil and how it can be different. We'll investigate by changing matter in the soil in the simulation and observing what happens. As we investigate the soil in the sim, we're going to complete some questions. These can be found on page 64 of your Ecosystem Restoration Workbook or on page 3 of your Chapter 3, Lesson 3 activity packet. To see the sim, you can continue with this video or you can access the simulation through Amplify. To open the simulation, you are going to log on to Amplify. You are going to click on Ecosystem Restoration Unit and then you are going to choose the orange box with the number one on it. I'm going to do that now. As we do the simulation, let's think about this question. What happened to the soil when the decomposers or the mushrooms were removed? So let's go ahead and we're going to remove the mushrooms. And let's observe what happens. So I can see that the rabbits have started to wither and look a little sad. Same with the plants. Let's keep observing and see what happens with the mushrooms still removed. I've now noticed that the wolves have also started to wither. So I'm starting to think that maybe mushrooms are pretty important to our soil and our ecosystem. I'm going to go ahead and add mushrooms back just to see if anything changes. So I've noticed that the plants, the rabbits, and the foxes have all started to perk up. So again, like I said earlier, I'm thinking that decomposers like mushrooms are very important to ecosystems. Let's turn back to the presentation. So now that we've observed the simulation, let's answer this question that we were keeping in mind. What happened to the soil when the decomposers or the mushrooms were removed? To answer this question, you can write the answer in your chapter three, lesson three activity packet in a notebook you can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about the answer in your head. Pause the video and answer this question now. Now let's answer question two. Did you observe anything else happening? To answer this question, again, you can write the answer in your chapter three, lesson three activity packet in a notebook. You can think about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about the answer in your head. Again, pause the video, and answer question two. Think about what we already know, what we observed in the sim, and what we read about nutrients in Walk in the Woods. As you keep these in mind, answer this question. What ideas do we have so far about nutrients? To answer this question, you can write the answer in your chapter three, lesson three work activity packet in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about the answer in your head. Pause this video and answer question three. Remember our matter chart. There are different parts of an ecosystem that are all made of matter. Let's add decomposers and nutrients to our chart because those are also made of matter. So now we have animals are made of matter, plants, water, air, soil, decomposers and nutrients are all made of matter. The key concept we have really solidified so far is that decomposers release nutrients from dead plants and animals into the soil. 
Let's keep this key concept in mind as we continue on with this lesson and the rest of our chapter. Hello fifth graders, this is chapter three, lesson three of our ecosystem restoration unit. Remember, during this lesson, we are skipping activity two, so let's go ahead and continue our learning. As ecologists working for natural resource rescue, we've been synthesizing ideas to come to a new understanding about how different soils can be different in different places. And remember, we are looking at our project area and our healthy rainforest. You are going to write a short argument to answer the question using the evidence that we've gathered from our readings, investigations, and our simulation. You can find this on page 66 of your Ecosystem Restoration Workbook or on page 5 of your Chapter 3, Lesson 3 Activity Workbook. Go ahead and pause the video and answer this question now. We know that decomposers, such as mushrooms, break down the body matter of dead plants, animals, and other decomposers, and that they add nutrients to the soil. The body matter of these dead organisms becomes food matter for the decomposers. Now, let's think about what decomposers do with the matter that they break down. In order to do this, we are going to use the simulation to observe what happens to the body matter of dead plants, animals, and decomposers after the decomposers take it in. To open the simulation, you can log on to Amplify, open the Ecosystem Restoration Unit and click on the orange number one, or you can continue on with this video. As we look at the simulation, we're going to observe the decomposers taking in matter from each of the other organisms at least once. We are also going to observe to figure out what happens to the energy in the food matter when it is broken down by decomposers. So I'm going to go ahead and open the simulation now. Okay, now that my simulation is open, I'm going to press play. I'm also going to make sure that only my matter is showing. So I'm going to turn off the energy and I'm going to focus on our squares under each organism. And again, remember we're focusing on the decomposers. So as we observe, we're going to make sure that we focus on the matter that is going directly to the decomposer. So I see there is matter going from the plants. I just saw that go across. Let's keep watching. Matter from the soil is going into the decomposer. Or I would suppose this wouldn't be soil. This would be the earthworms where the millipedes are and even where droppings are. Let's observe for a couple more moments. Again, I see most of the matter for the decomposers coming from the plant and from the ground. I also have seen oh, some from the rabbits and the wolves. Okay. Now I'm going to show the energy. And I want to see where the energy and the food matter is coming from. So our food matter is going to be our rabbits, our plants, and our sun. Let's focus on just the energy. So I'm noticing a lot of energy matter or food matter is going from the sun to the plants. I also just saw the food matter for the wolves go from the rabbits. And I'm also seeing that the plant food matter is going towards the rabbits. Let's go ahead and go back to our presentation. So based on what you observed, answer this question. What do you think decomposers do with the matter that they break down? To answer this question, you can write the answer in your Chapter 3, Lesson 3 activity packet in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about the answer in your head. Pause the video and answer this question now. A key concept that we have really nailed down during this lesson 
and this chapter is that animals, plants, and decomposer, decomposers grow by changing food molecules into body molecules that can build their bodies. Notice how and decomposers is highlighted. It's important to remember that this is for animals, plants, as well as decomposers. Another key concept that we have solidified during this lesson and chapter is that animals, plants, and decomposers, highlighted again, use some food molecules to release energy for movement and growth. So let's keep these key concepts in mind as we move forward with our chapter. This is the conclusion of lesson three. Can't wait to see you in lesson four.